Hey Tubes, here's something kind of interesting for you here just real quick. I'll keep it kind of short since uh, the lighting isn't real good. Uh, but I don't want to lose my night vision here uh, with anything too bright. But either way, i got my telescope out here. Uh, I've had this telescope for a couple years. It's a Mead, as you can see. It's actually supposed to be a really nice telescope. Uh, you, there's a remote you can plug into it. Um, it'll, it's supposed to be able to track all kinds of planets. planets. It'll, once, you, once you calibrate it, it'll find them for you and then track them. Which is pretty neat. Uh, the only problem is I haven't been able to get it to work. I've tried calibrating it numerous times. I haven't tried it in about two years. Maybe if I try it again, I'll, I'll get it. Uh, but my, even my uncle, he couldn't figure it out. And he's a real expert on these telescopes. Um, so I don't know what's the problem with that. But in any case, it's a nice camera. I mean, telescope, rather. And the reason I brought it out tonight is I saw in the news you're actually supposed to be able to see Saturn tonight. Which I thought was pretty interesting. I may have seen it once before at my uncle's house. I can't quite remember. I saw something. It might have been Saturn. It might have been Jupiter. But whatever it was, uh, I don't really remember it. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to try and uh, I'm going to break out the telescope since, I, like I said, I haven't had it out in about two years and see if we can see it. So I'll point you up in the sky here. I don't know how well the, uh, the camera is going to do with it. Uh, but here's the moon. This is, this is almost directly southeast. Uh, we can zoom in on the moon pretty good, actually. This camera does a good job with the moon. Once it focuses, there you go. You remember that from the um, what was it? Uh, the harvest moon back in back in September. But either way, we got the moon here. Now, if we look north and north, I keep describing it as northwest of the moon, but that might be confusing. If you looked at the top right, I mean left. Now I'm confusing myself. Look at the top left of the moon. Now it's kind of focusing on the light of the moon, but if we move out of the way here should be able to get it. Um, you're going to see a star. There it is. Uh, it's kind of yellow in color. That's how they said it would look on the moon. And I guess it's yellow. But it's so tiny I couldn't really tell you what color it really looks like to me. But if we zoom in on it here, um, you may actually be able to see the rings with the camera here. I'm just going to leave it in one place and let it try and focus and see what you can see. Um, but I've had it with the telescope and it looks real good. Um, I've got two different lenses for it. And you actually, you really can see the, you can see the rings for sure. Uh, having a trouble, little bit of trouble focusing, but that could just, that could be my eyes. Hopefully not my eyes. Uh, but, and it, it's such a small object, a little hard to focus anyway. And I looked at it with a, um, with a pair of binoculars I have, and they're not the greatest binoculars. And I couldn't tell if I saw the rings or if I was just imagining them. And that's the case with the video here. I can't tell if I see them. We can try and zoom in here. A little shaky. But if we zoom in with the digital zoom, you might be able to see it there. But like I say, I can't tell if I'm imagining it or I can actually see it. Uh, but either way, if you think you can see it, you might be satisfied with that. But if not, uh, I think it'll be visible for a couple days, so you might as well grab the telescope. Go out and see what you can see. Um, if you're on the other side of the world, maybe not. Um, or in a different hemisphere, it might be a little difficult. But, uh... That's about it. I just figured I'd share that with you in case anybody's interested and uh, didn't get didn't get the word. All right, tubes. Okie dokie. Thanks for watching.